Hi, welcome to NetSet OS. Today we'll start with graph question detect cycle in directed graph. In my last types of graph section, there are two types of graphs. First, undirected and the second one is directed. Directed as in where we have directions that we already know. Now we'll see how to detect cycle whenever we are given a directed graph. Now here I can see four nodes. So I'll take 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now if I'll start making adjacency array for it, 0 is going towards 1. So what I'll do, I'll make an array over here. And for the respective 0th node, 0 is going towards 1. Then 1 is going towards 2 as well as 3 node. So what I'll do, I'll make an array where 1 is going towards 2 as well as 3. Then 2 is going towards itself. So here I'll write 2 and this third node is going towards 0. So here I'll write 0. So this is all about adjacency array. Now for detecting cycle, first thing I need to traverse through each node. So what I'll do, I'll start from 0th node and we'll start traversing as 0 is going towards 1, correct. Then 1 is going towards 2. So by now 0 is traversed, 1 node is traversed and 2 is traversed. Now when I go again with traversing 2, here again we got the node which is already been traversed. That means here it is making a cycle. Now coming to 1, when I will go towards 3 and 3 is going towards 0. And this is the node where I have already been traversed. So here also it is making a cycle. This is what we need to detect. So here I'll be using DFS approach. Now here I'll be using DFS approach. What I'll do, I'll be making a visited array. And as soon as I'll visit the node, I'll put a tick mark and will mention that node in the visited. So let's start with first node, 0th. Now 0 is going towards first node. 0 is already been visited. Now 0 is going towards 1. So I'll make it 1 and will tick on 1. Now 1 is going towards 2. I'll go to 2 and will mark in visited. Now this 2 is going towards 2 again. 2 is going again to 2. But this is already been mentioned in the visited. So here it will return true. That it is making a cycle. Apart from 1 is going towards 2, 1 is also going towards 3. So I'll mark 3 and will write over here. Now this 3 is going towards 0 which is already been mentioned in our visited. That means it is also making a cycle. So here we have two cycles. Right? Now let's see with different example. So in the next example, I'll just delete this loop circle and instead of going 3 to 0, I'll opposite the direction 0 is pointing to 3. Similarly, 3 will be pointing to 1. So let's find out whether it is making a cycle or not. So for that, just let's make a agency list for it. So for this, I'll visit 0 is pointing to 1 as well as 3. So here I'll write 1 and 3. And we'll be checking out for both of them. Let's take 1 first. 1 is pointing to 2. And this 2 is 
not pointing anywhere. So here I'll write null. Fine enough. Now 2 is not pointing to any of the node. Here we have 3. So I'll take 3 as 0 is pointing to 3. 3 is pointing to 1. This is the agency list for this particular graph. Now let's check it out whether it is making a cycle or not. Now if I see 0 is going to 1 and 1 is pointing to 2. So the traversing will be stopping here as 2 is not pointing to any 1. So by 0 to 1 direction it's not making a cycle. Let's find out with other direction. When I go from 0 to 3, 3 to 1 and 1 is again going to 2. In this way also it is not making a cycle. There is no loop over here. So let's use the last strategy whether it is working here or not. So what I'll do, I'll make a visited array as we did for the last time and we'll start looking for whether it detects a cycle or not. But we know that this graph is not making a cycle. Let's do it by DFS. So we'll start traversing from 0th node. I'll take over here and 0 is going towards 1 and 3. So I'll write over here 1 and 3. 3. Now for 1, 1 is going towards 2. So I'll write 2 over here. I'll take as 1 is going towards 2. Now for this 2 node, 2 is pointing to null. So I'll just tick over here as I have traversed this particular node. I'll write over here empty array. Now as 2 is not pointing to anywhere, I'll go to 0 is pointing to 1 as well as 3. So when I traverse the third node, third is pointing to 1. So I'll write 1. So 3 is going to the 1. But what can I see? There is already a tick over here. And as per our last strategy, if we accomplish this take for the second time, we'll take it as a cycle. This is a loop and it will return true over here. But we know this is not making a cycle. So this strategy fails here. Now we need to have something in supplement. So what I'll do, I'll make use of one more array over here. And we'll be tracking one by one for both of the array. So for that I'll just clean this and now what I'll do as soon as I'll traverse any node I'll put V as well as H. So let's start from first node which is 0. Now I have traversed this 0 I'll tick here and I'll put V as I have visited this and here I'll put H also. Now this 0 is going to 1. So we'll reach to 1 and here I'll put V for visited as well as the supplement H for helper. Now this 1 is pointing to 2. So I'll make it visited. And here I'll write V for visited and H for helper. Now this 2 is going for null. That means it is not pointing to anywhere. So what I'll do, I'll backtrack from here. So as to check my last node whether it is having the second choice or not. So that it can make a cycle. But while backtracking, I'll delete this H. Now I'll cross check with 1. Is 1 having any other node where it is pointing to apart from this because we have already traversed this 2. So here it is not pointing to any other node. 
so what i'll do i'll backtrack from one also but as soon as i backtrack i'll delete this h now i'll be looking for zero whether zero is having any other node where it is pointing to so here apart from this one we got three so it will traverse to three and will make it visited as soon as it will be visited it will be going with helper also so here we will have h now three is pointing to one so three is going towards one here we are getting v but we are not getting h and we will be judging here on the basis of this h if there is h for the second time that means it is making a cycle but here you can see there is no h over here that means here it is not making a cycle so this is how we can detect the cycle on the basis of this helper if we are visiting and we are getting h on that particular node that means it is making a cycle this strategy will work on the last example as well so let's write a python program with the help of this strategy and we'll take example with the help of example we'll be understanding the python program so let's go to pycharm let's try to understand this python program with the help of this example so first of all we have four nodes so here we are the vertices first of all we will be drawing adjacency list we will have four vertices so here we will get four columns inside the list then it says i dot append j so for zero it is pointing towards one one is pointing toward two and three now coming to two two is pointing to itself whereas three is pointing to zero so here we have added edges in our agency list now we got the function with the name is cyclic where i have made two arrays with the name visited and array and it will be filled initially with false as like this now for each iteration it will be checking whether it is false or not like for the zeroth node it is checking it is false so it will be going to dfs and in dfs as we have already seen like for zero first of all it will be making that particular zeroth index as true now for zeroth index neighbor is one now for one it will be checking in both visited as well as helper whether it is true or not for one index they both are false and whenever it will get true it will return true that there exist a cycle so for one the current neighbor it's false so again it will be following dfs now for one the neighbors are 2 and 3 so while coming to visited and helper it will be initializing with true on one index and will be checking for all its neighbors now initially we'll be taking one one of 2 and 3 so let's start with 2 as its current neighbor now for 2 is it true for any of them no both are false so again it will be going into recursion to dfs now for the dfs for second index true for both of them for visited as well as helper now it will be checking for second index what are the neighbors it's 
so in neighbors we will get 2 now for current it's 2 now it will check for second index are we getting in helper true yes that means it is getting a cycle so it has returned true because there is a cycle over here and when it returns true it will be returned here as a result of this recursion and then it will check if answer is true return true that there exists a cycle so here let's take the same inputs here there are four number of nodes so i'll make it four edges are not needed and then zero is pointing to one one is pointing to two then we are having two is pointing to itself one is pointing to three and three is pointing to zero and when i run this it says graph has a cycle now if i take for the last example i'll just cut this and here instead of pointing 3 to 0 it will be pointing 0 to 3 and 3 to 1 let's find out for this example here it says graph has no cycle so this is how we can detect cycle in a directed graph now in the next few sessions i'll be taking graph questions so be with me and don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.